This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schoen. Today, we're going to create the Canadian Avalanche. This recipe is quite simple. It's Canadian whiskey. The original Canadian whiskey that was used was uh, a Crown Royal. I don't have any Crown Royal left, I don't think, so I, I got to pick some more of that up. So what I'm substituting with is another Canadian whiskey. I'm using Black Velvet Reserve, aged eight years. I'm also going to be using some coffee liqueur. In this recipe, I'm going to use Kahlua Especial. And we're going to top it with cream. It's going to be in a low ball glass, nice and simple, maybe more of a, like a dessert thing. I, I don't really know. Top it with cream. So I guess that would be kind of dessert. It should look cool, like an avalanche. So what we're going to do is add the two ingredients right into the glass, an ounce and a half of each. That's a lot, actually. It's going to be like a spiked coffee. It's, Only, there's no coffee, it's all spiked. It's more of a, yeah, like a, a, a spiked something. There's no coffee. It there's is coffee all liqueur, alcohol. so. Yeah, coffee, liqueur, and whiskey. With cream. So it's kind of like a Irish just, coffee, an Irish coffee? A Canadian Irish coffee. And I use this small glass specifically because I figured it would be a good indicator of the size given like an ounce and a half an ounce and a half is like three ounces whoa did you do that in your head yeah I, I did it way ahead of time though and then i just calculated and pretend i was doing it oh, I see. a little more ice now that we kind of know where the top is that way when we top it with cream it's just quite Kinda healthy looks like black coffee right there it does except black iced coffee yeah yeah it's not gonna be hot no it's not not at all and then what you get is a rolling avalanche all the way around. It's just, it all kind of just moves. Until you spin it and then it mixes. Like that. But it doesn't look, it doesn't look like, it's it's not curdling per se. It's just really a neat little swirl. And yeah, as you move it, it it'll eventually probably fill up with everything. Just be one white mess. But typically, I'm guessing if you had like, a, you're serving it to people, you'd put four down and then you'd top them hand them over and they get to see the avalanche. It probably won't last too long anyway because they're going to be drinking it, so it's going to be moving around. It actually has the aroma of Kahlua. This is the higher proof Kahlua too. This is the uh, Especial, so we get 30, 70 proof. There is a burn that might be minimized by using a lower, the lower end, Not I guess lower end doesn't sound right, the lower proof version of the Kahlua. Very coffee-like. The Canadian whiskey only plays near the end, and it's it's very strikingly potent. And the topping of cream coats your mouth and starts to give you a little, like a subtle, like, ooh, there might be alcohol coming, but the finish is fire. It's hot, not, no ethanol though, maybe a little bit. It's not like a vodka. It's definitely got more of a a creamy, matured burn to it, if that makes any sense. The whiskey may be playing with the coffee liqueur. Good presentation. Definitely good size. This might be all you need is a nice sipping drink, after dinner drink maybe. So there you go. That's the Canadian Avalanche. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv or everydaydrinkers.com if you want to read our blog. We're teaching you how to drink.